Hi there, in the previous lesson we introduced to you the concept of the loop, which is really important when you are working in a game development, even in 2D or in 3D. Uh, in this lesson we are going to develop a loop machine which allows us to handle the stopping and the restarting of the loop. To do that we need to create an ECMAScript 6 module named machine which contain a class machine an instance and an instance named machine and this class will have a flag which is a boolean attribute which the full value false value as default that we are going to change when we call the method method start and the method stop uh, we are going to need a method run that will be called when we call when we execute the method start but only if the flag is equal to false so if flag is equal to true we are going to uh, stop the execution of this method when we call the method run we also are going to check if the flag is true so if the flag is false we are going to avoid the execution of the following code here if the flag is true we are going to call the famous native function of javascript named request animation frame that is executed when the full page is rendered by the browser and it function execute the callback that we are going to set here and this callback is going to be the same run method but of the same instance so we need to bind this as a context of the function to know what is the value of the flag of the of that instance uh, in the middle of this main uh, loop because this is a loop because this function calls the same function that contain it we need to run the callbacks and the callbacks are going to be into a, an array that we are going to fill using a method named add callback using the method push of the arrays pushing the callback that we receive by parameter in this in this method on the other side we need the opposite functionality which is remove callback and we are going to use uh, the filter functionality of the arrays uh, but it's not the more efficient way but at the moment it's gonna be okay so we need to uh, send every callback different to the callback that we receive um here in the main part of the class in the method run we are going to iterate using for each function of the arrays in order to execute every callback we have available in our array container so that's all that we need to in order to develop our loop machine 
now it's time to replace the functionality of the set interval so the first step gonna be is gonna be incorporate the machine importing the machine then calling the add callback function and then drop the third second parameter and then start the machine in this way so now we are able to rotate the box using the rotation property of the object 3D that we were watching the previous lesson. And check this out. The horizontal axis is, is X. The vertical axis is Y. And the deep axis is Z. So if you want to move the object spinning in this way you need to think about a, a stick that pass through the, uh, the object if the stick that you need is vertical you need to rotate in the vertical axis in order to make this the object spin in this way so here we are going to use the y axis and we are going to increment a little angle just 0 0.01 gradient because is the unit that we use in the angles in 3JS every frame so if we save this we are going to see the box spinning but the point of this lesson is show you that we can handle the starting and the stopping of the um, this loop so we can call the set timeout function and after two seconds, we can call the stop functionality. And after five seconds, we can restart this loop. Check this out. Ready? Go. One, two, stop one two three start again and in this way you can handle the stopping and the restarting the loop that's all right now stay around and see you in the next lesson